New equipment can introduce something unexpected into the workplace. Danger. A young worker, just three weeks on the job, fell from an elevated platform of this order selector style forklift, sustaining a serious head injury. These are the findings of WorkSafe BC's investigation. Two young workers were employed in this warehouse, a lead hand and the new worker. Their job was to fill orders by hand-picking items out of these boxes. Workers used a rolling scaffold staircase to access the third level of racking and ladders to access the upper shelves. Thinking it would make order picking safer, the company purchased an order selector. Unlike a typical forklift, an order selector has a designated operator's platform that the operator self-elevates to the desired height. This new equipment gave workers easy access to all levels of racking in the warehouse. The new worker had never run a forklift before. The lead hand, inadequately trained on forklift operation and fall protection herself, showed the new worker what she knew about operating the forklift and how to put on the fall arrest harness. With minimal instruction, the new worker was authorized to use the forklift. That wasn't the only problem. The wood shelving and the boxes on them protruded from the racking frame into the aisle preventing the order selector from running closer than 12 to 17 inches away from the racking. This added distance made it difficult for any operator, while properly wearing the required fall protection, to reach items on the racks. The employer introduced a plywood-covered pallet to be mounted on the forks. Workers used it as a work platform to stand on at elevation to access items in the racks. This work platform was not built to comply with required safety standards for work platforms mounted on forks. This created a serious hazard to workers. In order to step onto the work platform from the designated operator's platform, a worker would have to forego using fall protection because the safety lanyard designed to keep the operator on the designated operator's platform would be too short to allow them to reach into the racks. With a gap to reach across, an unsafe work platform with unguarded edges, and no appropriate fall protection in use, the stage was set. On the day of the incident, the lead hand directed the new worker to move all the boxes on one set of racks to make way for new stock. The lead hand then went to work in a different aisle. After lunch, she heard the forklift running. A short time later, the lead hand heard a box, and then something else, hit the floor. She immediately went to where the new worker was working to see what had happened, and found her on the floor unresponsive. She had fallen nearly 13 feet onto a concrete floor. There are many lessons to be learned here. Always wear fall protection and remain on the designated operator's platform when using an order selector style forklift. Don't use makeshift work platforms. Doing so defeats the built-in safety features of a designated operator's platform and the fall protection system. Maintain racking systems to ensure smooth and proper operation of order selectors. Follow manufacturer's instructions for equipment and develop safe work procedures for equipment new to the workplace. Train workers and supervisors to the CSA standard for lift truck operators and to the fall protection requirements in the regulation. Ensure supervisors are knowledgeable in the procedures and that they regularly check that workers are following them. Special care must be taken to orient, train and supervise new and young workers. Young and inexperienced, these workers just did not realize the hazardous conditions they were working in. Don't just look at the benefits new equipment can provide. Make sure workers are protected against its hazards.